Hello, my name's Mel. Welcome to my world. And for those of you that are new to my channel, I'm currently turning this Mercedes Sprinter into an off-grid, go anywhere, sleep anywhere, kind of stealthy camper van. So if that's something that interests you, then please do consider subscribing to my channel. Now, today I'm going to be fitting my solar panel. But I know what you're thinking. There's hundreds of solar panel videos on YouTube, but I can guarantee none of them are quite like this. Now you may think that's a bit of a bold statement, but if you are a regular viewer to my channel, you will know that I fitted Unistrut rails to the roof of my van. When I very first got it, I used that Unistrut down each side of the van and kind of made it into a roof rack. And this video is all going to come together and you'll see exactly why I fitted that Unistrut rail. But if you haven't seen that video, then I'll put a link up here. A little thing should slide across your screen now. That's a link to that very, very first video, and it'll all kind of make more sense if you watch that video first. So anyway, let's get my solar panel out of the box, lay it down, fit some brackets, and I'll show you exactly how this is all going to come together. As I was getting the, the solar panel out of the box, some dark clouds come over, so I kind of rushed the next stage, and uh, lo and behold, the sun's come out again. But anyway, nevertheless, I can still kind of explain how this is going to go. Let me start by showing you some Unistrut. This is what I've got bolted to my roof. This is just an offcut that's been kicking around. And this is a Unistrut nut and bolt. Really clever idea, really simple and really clever. And you know what I say, keep it simple, keep it safe. That's exactly what this stuff does. Right, so Unistrut is this angled, I'll hold it like that so you can see. And this is a Unistrut nut. Now these are designed, you can see they've got curved, <laughs> got curved off corners and one very sharp corner, one curved off. And this is for a reason, so that when you put, I should have done this without a washer, when you put the nut inside the rail, you can turn it and then it fits like this. Can you see how that works? So that goes in, turns and it clamps down and once you screw that down it's going nowhere and it's also got these little serrated edges as well and uh, that helps it all grip together so that's why I use this because this Unistrut stuff you can buy an array of brackets L brackets, 45 degrees, 90 degrees all sorts of weird and wonderful brackets you can buy for this stuff it really is universal so that's why I chose to put this on the roof of my van um, and because it did start looking like it was going to rain, I've already fitted the uh, L brackets to my solar panel. I'll bring it down a little bit so you can see exactly what I've done. So this is the edge of my solar panel. These are my uh, L brackets. Now these are um, zinc plated. They are for roofing beams. I got these from Wix's. They're not part of the Unistruck brand, although. Unistrut do do something similar, but nevertheless, I've got these from Wix's. They are for um, Yeah, like I say roofing beams and stuff so they're zinc plated so they won't rust And the bolts I'm using incidentally are chrome plated as well, so they won't rust and, so, and likewise with the washers You have to think about rust when you're putting stuff on the roof, right? So uh, if I tip this up without Dropping it off. You'll be able to see it's simply an L bracket screwed now I had to trim a bit off, I had to cut it off with the um, <laughs> jigsaw. It's so easy to cut, this stuff's quite soft. And cut the self tapping screw straight through the side like that. So they're my old brackets. Now, back to me nut. So before I put this on the roof, I'm simply going to place these through there, pre-install it like this. Trust me, this is all going to make sense. I don't know if you can see that. So I've pre-installed these four nuts, one in each corner. Now when I put it up on the roof, fingers crossed I've got my measurements right. <clears throat> and this will simply come down and slide into my Unistrut. I then twist it and it will hold itself in place. It's as simple as that. And then I'll simply just do this nut up like that. And it will clamp into place. And the other good thing is, it's easy to remove as well. Um, it's like no poachers nick me so many, <laughs> come and nick me so the panels. That'd be embarrassing, wouldn't it? Because the good thing about it is, is they're easy to put on and they're easy to get off as well. Maybe the easy getting off part isn't such a good thing, but um, <clears throat> it's so high up. I doubt if anyone's going to get up there and nick me panels. 
Right now, before, there's one other job I need to do before I put this panel on the roof and let's put some soft felt pads underneath because if my measurements are correct this is going to be quite close to the roof of my van and uh, I don't want to run the risk of it vibrating and touching the roof and then causing any uh, paint to wear away and rust to occur so I'm just going to put some felt pads in each corner to do that I need to flip it over right so I've been up on the roof had another look and got a straight edge I didn't film it because there's a massive big black cloud out there so I've got to be as quick as I can um, the only place where it looks like this panel can actually touch the roof is there's a big dome bit in the middle of the roof that stands up and it's going to be this corner here that if, it, if anywhere it's going to be close it'll be here so I'm simply going to stick some of these felt pads on that corner just to make sure it doesn't rub because metal to metal rubbing is going to wear the paint away um, and I really don't want that to happen. So I'm just going to put some of these on here. I think it was this corner. Yeah, and it goes that way. Yeah. <laughs> so there. Just a couple of these like that. I think that would do. That would do like that. And that is purely just to make sure because they're yeah, bomb more calculations <laughs> and you know how far I am <laughs> it should should work well right so let's get up on the roof get this bad boy on there before it starts to rain See how easy that is. <laughs> Do you like this video? Give me a thumbs up. Now I've got to slide it over. It's a little bit too precise, I think. It should all slide into place. That's it. Let's put it up against the side then. The bolts are clear. That way a little bit. A little bit. Just square it up. There's my wires. Pre installed everything. So, got it all ready. It should go through there like that. I'll tell you, we'll plug these in now just to make it easy. It's a bit wet up here. do now is attach some cable ties to that so I told you this was going to be easy didn't I line those nuts up oh put me ratchet the right way around see how simple this is doing is lining that nut up I'm just turning it around and locking it into place just hold it there with one finger oh, there you go now all I've got to do is put a couple of cable ties through these cables here like that 
way in there. This is just to stop them rattling around, otherwise the cables will flap around in the wind. Well, I'm doing 100 mile an hour down the motorway. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> I very rarely do over 60. <sighs> because that's the legal limit, you know. There you go, done. And that is the quickest solar panel install. Shall I say either? <laughs> Maybe that's a bit of an overstatement, but that is a really quick, simple solar panel install. Right there. Now I know I will get asked where I got this solar panel from, so I will put a link in the description of this video where I got the solar panel from and the Unistrut and all that good stuff. But before I get off the roof, this is why I put those felt pads there. As you can see, it's very, very close. Um, I mean, it doesn't quite touch, but I didn't want to run the risk of that rubbing and wearing the paint away and causing any rust to develop on the roof. Yes, that's why I did that. So some of you might be thinking, why have I put my solar panel to one side? Why didn't I just put it straight down this way? Well, as a matter of fact, the measurements for this solar panel will actually fit perfectly across this way. But the reason I've done it lengthways is because I want to save this space on the roof for something else other than a solar panel. This is a 160 watt panel and I think that'll be plenty for what I need. Right, so if you like this video, please do give me the thumbs up. Don't forget, if you are new to my channel, please do consider subscribing. And by subscribing to my channel, you'll help me feed a cat and I've got two and they're both hungry. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Ta-da for now.